Last night, we had Chris Ariola versus Andy Ruiz Jr., which was, to me, a rather mediocre to boring fight. There wasn't any real action. Um, I'll be honest here. Uh, Chris Ariola was really giving that jab business to Andy Ruiz uh, as so, so much that he ended up busting his mouth. Uh, Andy Ruiz just didn't look the same. Maybe it was the weight loss. Um, uh, one judge had the, the his, his decision was a, by a wide margin, and I disagreed. I think it was closer than what he thought it was. I think uh, Chris Ariola he didn't do as much work as Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz definitely did the, the most work, but you know he ended up getting knocked down early on in the fight. His legs didn't look like they was really there. You know, most of the fight, he just his balance looked a little weird. No matter what Andy Ruiz does, he's always gonna have that shape, man. He can lose as much weight as he want. He's just gonna look real. He's just gonna have that flab. That's just the way it is. You know what I mean with Andy Ruiz? Uh, he did decent work. He just he just couldn't. He just don't. He don't have no real head movement, bro. He was getting he was getting popped with that jab all night by Chris Ariola. At one point, I thought Chris Ariola was going to knock him out. Like early on in the fight, I thought he was going to knock out uh, Andy Ruiz. I was like, uh-oh, here comes the knockout. But um, no, I think Andy Ruiz, uh, you know, I don't know. His chin might be a little a little suspect, man. I'm not sure yet. You know, after you know when he fought Joshua, Joshua he was able to clip him. But he got back up, you know what I mean? Got, got the job done. I think, uh, to be honest... I think Andy Ruiz is, is, I don't think he's really going to do any damage in the heavyweight division. I think that fight with him and Joshua was a fluke, man. That's just my opinion. I think that was a fluke that he won that fight. That was a blessing that he needed that money. You know, he needed that He needed that win because um, I think God was just blessing him. And I know a lot of y'all might not believe in God, but I think that was just a blessing sent to him, you know, because he needed to feed his family, you know, but... I think he's a he's a decent fighter, man. I just think that weight loss. I think he did better if he would have kept a little bit more of that weight. I think he would have probably ended up if he would have hit him because he hit Chris Ariola with some shots. And and he, after the after the uh, end of the round, Ariola was like sh shaking his head like I don't feel this dude power. And look at his face at the end of the fight. Uh, his face wasn't really even beat up. So I think he would have probably did some real damage to Chris Ariola if he would have kept his weight, man. His speed, his hand movement looked a little bit better though. Uh, I see some some subtle differences in his technique. Um, he does have uh, he always had the upper body movement, but it looks like his hands might be like like his his punch placement might be a little bit better than usual. He's not as sloppy as he usually was, but when he gets into like uh, trades, when he gets into exchanges, man, he does leave himself open a lot. If he does that against somebody like Deontay Wilder, man, it's going to be night-night, bro. So, I don't, at this point, I don't see him beating Wilder. I don't think he'll, I don't see him ever really beating Wilder, bro. I don't see him beating Tyson Fury. I see Andy Ruiz Jr. as probably he's going to end up being the gatekeeper, uh, heavyweight. I know a lot of people ain't going to uh, agree with me. I just don't see him doing anything else besides that Anthony Joshua win, which I think was a fluke. You know, so, um, but shout out to him anyway. Shout out to Chris Ariola. Shout out to Andy Ruiz for getting the win. But I don't see him ever really being a champion again, bro. Unless somebody like Chris Ariola ends up getting a belt, maybe he can get a belt from him or somebody like Adam Kalnacki or something like that. Shit, I think, man, Adam Kalnacki might even give him issues, man. You know, Robert Hellenius might give him issues. Definitely, uh, I think what's his name might give him issues. I think uh, Otto Valin give him issues too. I think a lot of mid tier fighters give annual ways issues man i think he's a he's right there in the middle he's not elite i just think he's like a low to mid-tier fighter man but that's just my opinion let me know what you thought about the fight drop a comment support the channel i'll see you guys later on the next one peace